Our Amorphophallus titanum, or corpse flower, is 18 years old. We originally got it in 2011, the year that the conservatory opened, and it was a gift from Huntington Gardens in Pasadena, California. We had a naming competition and had several suggestions. Grimace was selected for two reasons. One, it has very unique uh, coloration. The spadix is purple, the center tower, and it's purple. And also, it's the look that people make when they smell the smell Grimace for the first time. Oh! <laughs> kind of smells like a dumpster in August. Smell it. Yeah! Smells like a dog's breath. <laughs> Pretty stinky. Pretty stinky. We're excited. This is the second time that Grimace has bloomed. It's been dormant for three years, growing up a leaf in between, and then this is the second blooming. The corm that it grows from, last time we weighed it was over 66 pounds, so it was quite large. Between flowering, they produce a leaf that lasts for 12 to 18 months, and then it'll keep producing a leaf until it stores up enough energy to flower again. To create a flower that size, it takes several years to build it up. First bloom, usually seven to 20 years. Repeated blooms like ours are typically three to seven years. The bloom lasts about two to three days uh, from the time that it opens and then finally collapses. During that time, we cut a small hole in the base of the flower, the spade, and that is where we take pollen from another conservatory that's been frozen and staff brush that pollen on the first night on the female flowers, uh, hopefully to produce fruit and seeds. The second night, the plant produces male pollen on the flowers and we collect that to freeze and share with other gardens.